evening all, how are you all doing? Hope you're all well. It's a little bit of a late one tonight, but um, I was on a mission earlier on today to um, bring you this evening's stream. I hope, first of all, that you can obviously hear me, that we've uh, gotten over our um, terrible um, run of bad audio. And the audio's been fine, it's been me that's been the problem, hasn't it? So, um, so yeah, thanks for joining me uh, late on this school night, as it were, so, so yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's just uh, say hello to everybody. Hey there, Tim. Hey, how you doing? Awesome day yesterday, I'm gonna talk more about that in a moment. Hey, Dazzly. Hey, Pixels at Dawn, hope you're both doing very well. Hey there, Era 42. Yes, you know it, resistance is futile after you've uh, got one system, there's always another, but the PC engine was something very special, so. So yeah, it's good to see you all here. Audio is good, you can hear me fine. Hopefully you can hear me over the music. So so let's just get cracking. It's nine o'clock. Um, I don't know what time I'm going to go until tonight. It's not going to be late, late, because obviously, as I say, it's a school night for me. And um, it's a school night probably for a lot of you. And um, I guess that probably you're um, thinking about work tomorrow. Well, let's lighten the mood a bit because I finally got the PC engine. It's so exciting um, to finally have it at last. So, um, yeah, so um, I first of all have to say... Um, first of all, that none of this would have been possible without Tim, that's the future was 8-bit, Sansian in the chat, and uh, Gary, Gary, uh, Stompy RR on Twitter. They um, helped me obtain a PC engine and um, I'm forever grateful for them. So, so thank you so much for uh, helping me out there and um, yeah, I'm just so excited. So, so yes, we will um, be... Um, playing till half 10, 11 o'clock, something like that. So, so yeah, so, yeah, one more system will surely become just one more system. That's so true. I mean, you just know it's going to happen, don't you? But I've got plenty enough games now to be playing for, well, goodness knows how long, a very long time indeed. So, so yeah, so very exciting. Um, so let's uh, show the new, new uh, piece of kit off here. Let's go wonky cam. Some things never change, eh? So there it is. There's the wee little thing. There's the PC engine, guys. As you can see, it does need a little bit of a clean up, but that's okay. I can sort that out. I've um, actually made myself a. Um, they call them game bit screws at the bottom of these systems, and um, so to clean it up properly, I'm going to have to um, basically take it apart. Now I've made myself a game bit screwdriver with the end of a big biro. Uh, basically if you melt the end of the, the bit where the nib usually goes in and stick it into the screw and just let it set, you can actually undo the screws. So I've tested that earlier today and it worked. So basically at some point this week I'm going to take it apart and give it a good scrub. Um, and as you could also see there I have a um, Terra Onion SD System 3 for it which I actually picked up before the PC engine because I was a bit worried that they would go out of stock and I wouldn't be able to get hold of one of the most super useful devices for these little beauties. And um, so that's a little black bit of smoked plastic that you um, saw at the back there. And um, so basically that um, obviously gives you the ability to um, use an SD card to, or mini SD or whatever it's called, um, to play games from that. Um, you can still use Hue cards. These are these really super kick-ass um, sort of credit card games, basically literally the best cartridge format ever and um, so it's fully compatible with that but more importantly with the original PC engine it doesn't have like um, an RGB out or even a composite out so it's only got like RF so which is pretty naff these days so so yeah so so it's a super bit of kit I'm so glad I did pick it up because I literally just went onto Terra Onions website about a couple of hours ago just to check out a compatibility with something and um, basically I found out that they're out of stock so they may have new stock coming in who knows but for me this is the PC engine mini as far as I'm uh, concerned folks because let's face it it's about the same size as those mini consoles so so yeah you're, you're off this week, are you, Dazzy? Lucky you. Hey, Mauro, how you doing? Happy happy Sunday. 
Oh wow, your A600 is back as, uh, on its way back as well from Steve Pixels. That's awesome. So, yeah, Steve is very furry. You should be fine. It will be RGB. It's basically, it's a really clever thing because it uses a Mega Drive 2 um, SCART cable. So that saves me a lot of bother because I have a Mega Drive 2, so I can use the same cable. Yeah, don't try melting pens at home, kids. Yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah only experts can do this with their gas hob. Um, <laughs> Uh, the reason I've not actually tackled it today was twofold. One, I really had to get some work done today, which I've achieved, which is why I'm doing the stream tonight. Second thing is that I actually do want to uh, record the process of me actually um, uh, getting this uh, PC engine into some good condition, shall we say. Because um, surprisingly, there aren't actually all that many videos about the subject out there, but I just give it standard sort of thing, isn't it? I mean, I might even try my hand at retro writing, but I don't know. I think, first of all, my first thing to do is just take it apart, give it a good scrub up with a, um, some sort of like warm water and just, just see how good that gets it and then we'll take it from there. So, oh, you was defeated by it with rain within half an hour trying to retro bright your keys there, Pixels. Well, brave for you for trying it. I must admit, I've, I've never tried retro brighting anything. I wouldn't retro bright any of my Amigas, um, just purely because, well, particularly the 600, obviously that's my 600, so that can keep its patina, shall we say. Uh, whereas with the PC engine, it does look quite grubby, and I'm, I'm hoping it will mostly come up with just some warm water and some uh, so forth. So, anyway, without further ado, let's, let's just get on and say... Hey there, Colin, hope you're well, so... I did process those 240 photos, Mauro. You won't believe it, but I've actually processed 820 odd photos today, so I got up at um, half eight, made myself some coffee, because uh, I was uh, I visited Tim yesterday um, down in, um, oh, wrong button, down in the southwest of England, and it was a three hour drive back. I got home at half midnight. Oh, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm pushing all the wrong buttons. Bit like more common wise, isn't it? I'm playing all the right notes, but not necessarily in the right order. Let's just get the resolution sorted here. One more. Let's go for two more. Okay, right. Let's go full screen. And there we go. Okay, your audio levels will hopefully be okay. So I thought, well, we, we have to basically go with uh, Rainbow Islands to start with, don't we? So, yeah, literally, it was it was a real mammoth effort, but I managed it. So, yeah, I, this is it, you see, Colin. I'm just going to see how it comes up. But to be honest with you, I don't want to make it look brand new. I mean, I want to make it, I want to make it look clean, basically, is the thing. So it just depends how... Like the controller's quite yellow, but I'm not really bothered about making things look new or pristine or shop f finished. It's it's more just making sure it's not too grubby, really. So you don't need to retrobite anymore. Even but yeah, hey Saber Tooth Barnacle, I hope you're alright. So let's let's get on with some um, Rainbow Islands. I'm going to go full screen here. Do tell me if the the, the audio is okay. Um, or not and I will sort it out so let's get going so yeah I hope you guys are all well and um, let's go for um, one player. Ooh. Mm -hmm. um, carry something like that <laughs> uh, na nashi mm, tashi something like that mm. I must practice some more hiragana if I'm not sure, mustn't I? So I'm just trying to work out what I can just about read hiragana, but hmm, I'll be damned if I actually know what the words mean. <laughs> <laughs> Audio is fine for you. Good, good, good. Right. Hopefully, I've not enabled something like two-player mode. I don't even know the PC Engine version's got um, two-player or not. So. I'm sure it probably has, but uh, yeah, I thought the Amiga version of this was good, and then I played the PC Engine version for the first time uh, back in um, when I saw Tim a couple of months ago when I had uh, my first experience with the PC Engine, and uh, and I still really rate the Amiga version, but uh, the PC Engine is has kind of become my definitive version. 
um, even though I play it on Taito Classics on the uh, PS2, which is still very good. Um, obviously because it's the arcade original. The only thing with that one is that everything looks like it's coming out on composite, and I don't know why, but it's just just something that it does. Um, so, um, and of course the thing that I always have to get oh, used to is the two button controls again, so. Yeah, it, it does sound more cheerful. It's probably because it's running at 60 hertz in the true snow, whereas the Amiga version runs at 60 hertz, uh, 50 hertz. So it probably just makes the music that bit faster, so it makes it even more chirpy. But the reason why I've kind of fallen in love with the PC Engine is, one, because the games are just awesome. Um, but it kind of, I don't know, it does remind me of... Well, it doesn't remind me of anything other than PC Engine, obviously. But it just reminds me of what I was thinking when I, perhaps, back in those days of having an Amiga and stuff, and then get my SNES, and then seeing all the, the manga and anime coming out of Japan and stuff, and I was thinking, wouldn't it be really cool if you could play games like with that aesthetic and of course it turned out you could but uh, with the PC engine so so yeah this is a super sweet game super sweet version oh my word you have the turbo graphics European version yeah so so yeah that's that's a really good point actually uh, Mauro um, yeah the turbo graphics 16 is basically the same console um, and um, yeah, basically it's just a lot bigger than the um, the PC engine. Well, I say a lot bigger. It's bigger than the PC engine, isn't it? It's sort of like this big black sort of thing, isn't it? Or uh, dark grey plastics. Oh dear, my control tonight is not very good, is it? So, oh, paused. Oh. <laughs> and I've not even really been drinking. I've got myself a cider here, but I've literally taken about two sips of it. I've barely touched it, so I can't even blame it on the fact that. I've been enjoying myself this evening. I've just been really rubbish at playing Rainbow Island, so. But as I was saying, I tend to have this little patch when I go from having played it a lot on the Amiga where it's up for jump and then suddenly going back to two button controls. It takes me a little while to um, reset my muscle memory with it, I find. But still, I'm having fun, so. I don't know if any of you find that. Um, like your muscle memory does takes a little while to sort of switch back to what it should be, you know, you like the controls and all the rest of it, so I certainly know it does to me because I consider myself generally to be quite a mean player of uh, good old Rainbow Island, so. But yeah, so basically the PC Engine was the console that I kind of imagined playing games and I think, I just didn't know it existed, and uh, wow, yeah. Oh, I don't need the CD unit, uh, Dazzy, because the SC System 3 emulates the CD, you see. So, the good thing is, is that I don't have to go to the extent of, like, for example, Rainbow Islands is a CD-only PC Engine or Turbo Graphics <gasps> Spider P uh, PC Engine game. So, um, I'll keep on pausing it. Um, so, um... So basically, this saves me all the bother of having to seek out the CDs, so that means I can enjoy things like Dracula X, Rondo of Blood and stuff like that, which I can't wait, and Ease Book 1 and 2, um, which I'm thinking might be my next game I play after Chrono Trigger Tuesdays, because I was saying to Tim earlier on that I might have to call it Tuesdays. <laughs> I'm not joking, I would actually seriously call it that, because I think that's a damn cool name for a, an Ease Book 1 and 2 playthrough, and... No, I've never played Ease Book 1 and 2. It's long been on my list, but I haven't obviously had the PC Engine to do it. But I do now, so I'm quite excited about it. Because it's... I've played some of the later Ease games, like uh, Ark of Nafistum, or however it's pronounced. Uh, Ease 8, I think it is, on the PS2. But that's been about it, really. So it's going to be super cool to get myself stuck into all these games. So basically, if you don't hear anything from me for the next three years... I'm just busy playing PC Engine, <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's just so cool to share this with you, and uh, I can't remember where I read this today, but basically it is astonishing that the PC Engine is now more popular in the West than it ever was when it was new, so it's definitely worth the money, so it means that, um, yeah, I mean it's quite an expensive little unit, it's about 230 euros, um, but uh, 
you know, it basically gives you that RGB output, um, you know, which you don't get with the standard white PC engine. You get it with the core graphics. That's got a, I think, a composite out, um, but you don't get the whole sort of um, RGB output with that option. Um, and um, and also, I don't have to get the expensive CD attachment either. And I mean, obviously, I do have physical CD media. I mean, I I buy for the PlayStation and stuff like that, but. I always get a little bit worried about things like floppy disks and um, CDs, when, by, particularly when buying second hand, because you just don't know how they've been stored, and you may end up getting something that's got bit rot. Or, I mean, I've I've had CDs that go bad after a while because they've been improperly stored. And um, so, yes, it's um, definitely worth uh, getting the SD system free if you get the PC engine. I think because you know. And also, let's face it, the PC engine is not the cheap a cheap system to collect for if you or, or buy games for. I, I, I draw a distinction between collecting because I, I buy games because I want to play them. <laughs> um, not that there's anything wrong with pure collecting, it's, that's all cool as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so this is what really threw me, is that this boss is actually a lot harder than it is on the Amiga. The, the whole sort of physics of it are really quite different. You have to move a lot quicker. So it's very easy actually to get caught out, and that really did throw me the first time that I, uh, just like there, so. Yeah, I've seen that thing about the uh, sunlight thing, uh, just the only thing I need is some sunlight. <laughs> Um, what I might do is this bit, I'll give it a good scrub up and then I might just leave it in the window or something. Um, but, uh, okay, I didn't seem to get a continue there. I need to, uh, so I'm just trying to read this. <laughs> Badly. Hmm. I can see something that says cat at the end. I think it's is it Naka? Uh, Nakasa? Maybe? Oh, I've really got to brush up on my hiragana again. Not that, I mean, even if I could read what it says in hiragana, I'm. I wouldn't even know what the words mean. That's the problem, isn't it? So. I really do need to learn what these options say, so... Mm -hmm. So that's probably... Ha! And then you've got... Oh, obviously I'm cheating here at the minute, because I'm actually looking at a hiragana table at the moment, because there's a few symbols there that my memory can't recognise at the minute. And you've got... There must be some other intonation than she, that one. Mm -hmm. That one does look like... Mm -hmm. oh, no, no, maybe that's no. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever it means. I don't know what the words mean anyway, so... Let's do that. I really wish I could be more, f you know... F I, I w did know Hiragana really well a few months ago, but... And as I said, it's still useless because I don't know what the words mean, but... Um, but I've not brushed up on it actually in the last few months and I've, I've clearly become a bit rusty which is annoying so I'm gonna have to but I've been paying a bit more attention to my French actually of late so I sort of took the decision that um, when it comes to languages I'd rather actually learn one of them well rather than learn one partially well and, and then drop drop the ball on it really but as um Oh, sorry, let's just go back to chat there. Um, yeah, error 42, the, the graphics and the, the this fluidity are just solid rock. And that just seems to be a hallmark of the PC engine. It is slick. You know, it's, I, I don't think there's been much, if anything, that I've played on that has any real noticeable slowdown. So, so I'm going to play a few shmups tonight because everybody loves a shmup, don't they? And um, you, you'll be impressed, I think. So... How is the New Zealand story? In the I think it's really good, actually. I, I haven't tried it yet, so 
uh, Outrun's really good on it. Really enjoyed that. So, oh, thanks for filling in the, the info there, Tim. You, you know more about this than I do at the moment. So, but if you basically go to those like comparison vids, which I quite enjoy watching, um, you know, because uh, they're they're good to sort of. I, I like watching them when I'm doing the washing up because I'm a sad person like that. You know, I, I put the phone up by the by the sink, well above the sink, obviously. I do me washing up, and I watch my watch the comparison videos. Um, that's all good. And, um, but yeah, basically, you usually see that the PC Engine has a surprisingly good version. Like, for example, this week I found out that the best version of Shadow of the Beast appears to be on the PC Engine. So, who knew that Shadow of the Beast could actually be a good good game in terms of gameplay? So, so that's pretty awesome. Um, oh, that could be useful. And, um, yeah, so, um, that's all good. Shmups are great on the PC. Ah, oh, we, I was saying to Tim yesterday, Mauro, that when I was young, I had no time for shmups, and we both agreed that the reason is we now have more patience than we did when we were younger. Blazing lasers. We're going to be playing some blazing lasers later, Mauro. Yeah, blazing lasers, definitely so. Yeah, the, the sun's been a bit rubbish this year, has it? Well, it seems like it hasn't been great compared to last year, but last year was pretty exceptional, wasn't it? Not that summer's usually that naff down here. I mean, in where I am in West Sussex, we're supposedly in the sunniest part of the UK. And, you know, I can believe it sometimes because I do travel around a lot. And I'd say that we do get a lot of sunny days down here. But, um, yeah, unfortunately, it's not been great this year. But what I might do is because I'm away this coming weekend uh, for work, you know, shooting a wedding, uh, basically. Oops. Come on, come on, up you go. <laughs> um, I thought maybe I could <laughs> leave it in the window and uh, see what happens. Oh, come on. Maybe falling is a good idea. I seem to have the, the hook or the crook power up that's um, giving me lots of... Oh, that's what I was a bit worried about. <laughs> Let's just get up there. There we go. Hey, late night reviews. How you doing? Good to see you. We're enjoying some PC Engine. The PC Engine makes its debut. Shadow of the Beast doesn't hold a candle. I'll, I'll take your word for it. I just think that I'd. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I just knew that. So. It is warm in here. Uh, it is warm down here as well, actually. Uh, late night reviews, but it's uh, it's just grey. It's muggy today. We haven't had the rain that was supposedly on its way, but uh, it's just muggy with uh, muggy with it. I'm looking at the chat. It's doing so well up to that point. <laughs> I just don't want to make, make sure I'm not ignoring you guys, but obviously we forfeit the gameplay skills. Not that it were much to begin with. <laughs> I wonder when you get your extra life in this version. I wonder if it's 100,000 points. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, I'm going to give it a go this week as well, Tim. I think basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... And save to Barnacle, of course, obviously, for mentioning it in the first place. I'm basically going to get the uh, PC engine scrubbed up first. Get all the muck and dirt off of it. Take a few of what to do then with it, because... I don't want to... Obviously, um, you know, not get it cleaned up first of all, um, and then find that actually all it needed was a good clean. Because, um, but it does look like it's sort of like UV sort of uh, light, so uh, damage or whatever you want to call it. So, right, okay, let's do it this time with the spider. So yeah, this week it's due to be about 26, 27 degrees down here. So that's pretty good actually. So yeah, hopefully we will have uh, a slightly better run of the weather than we have had of late. Which will give me the opportunity to... Uh, uh, 
sort it out. So, ah! Yeah, there we go. Gotcha. So, yeah. Um, I just thought it was fitting to do Rainbow Islands as a debut because I seem to think it might be my first stream game, actually. 30 degrees in London. Wow. Mega version. Well, I think it's all good to have an opinion, Mauro. That's the point with opinions, isn't it? It doesn't matter whether it's say, you know, whether you're right or not. No, you know, everybody's welcome to an opinion, and I think that's so important. I just wish that we lived in a climate of people being more accepting of other people's opinions in all walks of life. Live and let live, I say. So, particularly when it comes to opinions on video games. <laughs> so, uh, the Amiga version is beautiful, but I just always found it a little bit. I don't like to say it, but I just always found it just a little bit of a dull game, really. It's not bad, it's just, I don't know, it just didn't excite me. So that's why I was quite intrigued to hear that on the uh, PC engine it's meant to be a uh, superior version in some one person's words, but they might be wrong. <laughs> you never know. Ah. Cheeky cheeky boys, a bit of a, oh, I need to look into that one. Don't know about that one, so. Do with that diamond. Okay. Even though the red diamonds are a little bit easier to get in this, on this world because obviously the red backgrounds. That's generally how it works. Let's get my crown. And um, yeah. Just an example, the PC Engine figure was out in, out in, in the, oh, you, you left it out last week? Oh, wow. Oh, man. Yeah, definitely. So, um, yeah, that's a good example, isn't it, Tim? So, I mean, I don't know what the weather was like uh, down your way, Tim, this past week, but it was only really Friday that it actually perked up down here. Uh, it's been a bit rotten, the weather, this, the past week, so, um, but yeah. Rainbow Arms was a good choice. You're right there, Jim. Nice to see a new name in the chat there. So, um, yeah, thanks for joining us. This is uh, my PC Engine's debut. And as you say, it's a fabulous version of the game. Um, one of my all-time favourite games. And they just knocked it out of the park, this version. So, not last week, in May. Ah, I see. Sorry. <laughs> this is a theme when I'm doing these streams. I just lose the track, so. FM Town Shadow of the Beast is really good, is it? Awesome. Little fly poos on the cases. Oh, I'll have to watch out for that saber tooth barnacle. Don't want to get fly poo. Oh man, saw that last minute. So, if you, I was going to say if you left it out last week, that's going to say that's that's probably why it didn't work. Game over. Damn. I need to um probably translate the hiragana um into actual words. I suppose you can do the old um, Google thing, can't you? But it, it's um. It's half past nine now and I want to move on to another game because um, there are plenty of games to play on the system. Um, uh, we're going to definitely be playing some more um, Rainbow Islands um, in the future on the PC Engine. Of course, obviously on the Amiga and probably the C64 and don't have the Mega Drive version though, so, because I think that only came out in Japan. But I might be wrong. And of course, obviously on Titan Classic, so... Hey Kev, how you doing? Thanks for that lovely shout out as always. So, <laughs> hope you're doing well, Kev. Hope you hope the weekend has treated you well. So, right. So, what should we do? Should we play our type or let's play some blazing lasers? So, let's just do that and that. So, this is the uh, Super SD system. I think I've got the hang of it now. Let's go with it being good games. There you go. You enjoyed Dick with Kids on the PC Engine, Jimmy? Yeah, that's that's uh, a good one, actually. I, I think it was also uh, an unreleased game for the Amiga. I think Ocean of France did it, which was a really good version. They were good at their conversions. They also did Toki, but... Maybe I'll play that one next, or some Parodius. Oh, I love Parodius. I'll show you some real Parodius.
uh, I don't know if you can see it in the thumbnail there, uh, everybody, including Jimmy, but ba basically, uh, this isn't like a particularly valuable game, really, but this is Parodius for the PS1. It's uh, it's uh, the double pack, so it's got, uh, I can never remember the two names, but Parodius Dar and I forget the name of the other one, but, um, but yeah, so this is... Uh, one of my prized possessions in my collection, basically, um, and um, yeah, so it's it did come out in the PAL region, but it's really super expensive. But as I just thought, I'd be pick up the Konami original. It's also a launch game for the PS One, so SLPS zero 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 two. So literally the one after Ridge Racer, which I will also have there. But yeah, Parodius is awesome. So if I can get that on the PC Engine, you can bet I'm going to be playing that. So. R-Type, yeah, I definitely agree that R-Type's best in the PC Engine, so. Ooh, Fantasy Zone. I'm already in shmup heaven, so. Let's just, let's go with some uh, Blazing Lasers, though, because I really enjoyed this when I played it for the first time at Tim's. Hope the audio is still good, guys. Let's uh, get myself powered up a bit here. Now, how's that for scrolling? <laughs> Can you see why people sort of sometimes say that Zenon 2 is a little bit clunky by comparison? <laughs> oh, that's a nice weapon. We'll go with those ones. Obviously, I've got no idea what all these different power-ups do, so... I'll eventually learn what's good, though, because now I've got all the time in the world, but within reason. All the time in the world to uh, enjoy this system, so... So, yeah, just... Oh, no, that's nice. <laughs> I think it is, anyway. So, yeah, that's a silky smooth scrolling that's just awesome. So, Ooh. and uh, thank God there's not one hit depths here. Um, I was playing a bit more Apidia at the weekend with Tim yesterday, and uh, well, it was a lot more pleasurable once the zipstick had been sorted out, it has to be said, but. Uh, homing missile okay I don't know whether that was better than what I had or not to be honest with you I think I preferred what I had so ooh, 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 lots of projectiles here I don't know whether the pink ones are health power-ups or not probably not by the looks of it oh it's getting a bit sticky yeah I'm really looking forward to playing fantasy zone on here Tim really looking forward to it yeah, Jimmy, it's uh, Parodius is on the PS1. It was a launch game in Japan and also a launch game in the PAL region, but a bit like uh, Sega of America's policy for the Saturn. They didn't, uh, Sony uh, Computer Entertainment in America didn't want any 2D games pretty much for the uh, PlayStation over there, which is a crying shame because actually the, the PlayStation wasn't too bad at doing 2D. Uh, probably not as good as the Saturn, but... Ooh, that was a bit of ropey, wasn't it, that gameplay? Um, but yeah, so it's definitely worth um, looking out for. So, get rid of you. And you. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I've got a screen clearer as well. I forgot. This is a problem, playing one-button games for the last few weeks. Um... You forget that you've got that extra button. The possibilities are endless. Interim boss by the looks of it. Get rid of you. And those. Hurrah! So yeah, the, the PC Engine really is the smup, sh shmup machine, isn't it? It's just, just wicked. But yeah, I love Parodius. We'll, we'll see if we can check that out. So, ooh, now that's a pretty nice. Got the extra bits or whatever they're called in Blazing Lasers, so. But yeah, I think this was a launch game for the PC Engine, oh, not PC Engine, but TurboGrafx-16 as it was called in North America. And, as Mario says, I suppose it got a bit of a limited release in Europe, so... Not something I was actually aware of at the time, to be honest with you. I do vaguely, having looked through my copies of Super Play magazine, which I, was my magazine that I bought as a, a SNES owner back in the day. 
which I did a review of on all on my channel about a year ago now. Uh, the magazine that is, and um, ooh, could do with getting rid of you. That's a bit better. Um, and um, yeah, I remember seeing sort of occasionally you would see the odd advert for. The PC Engine, uh, in because obviously import was a big thing in Super Play magazine, so that was its raison d'etre was to re review the games that weren't just uh, in the PAL region. So you know you could read a review of Chrono Trigger and all those kinds of things, which obviously wasn't released over here. So so the PC Engine was extremely exotic by comparison. So. Somebody's got some homing missiles here. Let's do a screen clear. So you can see that the pace just hasn't let up at all. And Oh no, that's a rubbish weapon. Right before the boss as well. I'm going to have to get a Neo Geo next. Oh, don't, don't, because that's that's when my bank manager's going to seriously do their head, he you know, their nuts, so... That's just going to be game over for me as far as I'm concerned if I end up in Neo Geo territory. That really will be game over, say. So. I have picked up a few of the uh, Neo Geo titles which were released for the PS2, so... So Mara also uh, liked Street Fighter 2, which is considered to be better than the SES version, but that's a game that Tim has, so... If you love your shmups and platformers and RPGs, then this is a console for you. You're absolutely right, Tim. Absolutely. That's why I had to get it, you see. It was it was necessary. It had to be done. Oh, I didn't mean to lean on the uh, secondary button there. Let's get rid of these dudes. Ooh, lost my track of where I was actually then out of all of that. Blending into the background a little bit there, so I will catch up in the chat in just a moment, guys. It's, that's the only thing with shmups. I should know this by now. They need your attention, don't they? Yeah, JRPG-wise, get ease for the PC Engine Marriott. You're right, yeah. Well, I've got ease but one and two here, so I was uh, saying a minute ago that I think that once I've um, got the uh, completed Chrono Trigger or done my Chrono Trigger Tuesdays playthrough, which will be, we'll be going on for another month or so, I think that at the very least, uh, then um, we might have to do Tuesdays, which I thought was quite a good name for it as so. Oh, damn. Not doing so good at the second stage. <laughs> Got a new toy. Yes, Dave, I have. How are you doing? No, I didn't go to Nova. I was... I, I uh, met up with Tim again this weekend, so... And that's where Tim helped fix me up with a PC engine. And... Uh, I've been waiting to play it all day long, but I've been very good. I did my work, did all my homework before playing. Man, I'm really getting nailed at this stage. But you can see it's got that beautiful rock solid 60 frames per second. There's no mucking about with the PC engine. So yeah, it's just so, so good. Unlike my gameplay. <laughs> yeah, you, you need that six button control. We were having this conversation yesterday, weren't we? So it's a bit like trying to play um, Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition on the Mega Drive, isn't it? It's really, I, I don't mind it on the Mega Drive. I prefer the SNES version to the Mega Drive version, but 
yeah, with the standard three button controller, which is actually all I've got for my Mega Drive, um, it's it it does suffer. It has to be said. So that's why I tend to prefer playing it properly. Oh, that's a rubbish part. I think. Um, but yeah, it's um. You need the six button controller for Street Fighter 2, don't you? So. Or any, any beat em up really to be honest with you so if I'm playing um, um, any of those games so little wonder it doesn't work too well on a one button and the eager joystick for example regardless of the quality of US Gold's uh, work so <laughs> okay do, oh, I seem to have lost the <gasps> The extra little power up I got, so I think this is my last life. Should we see if we can find New Zealand story on here next? I don't know if it's on here or not yet. Uh, we'll see if we can find New Zealand story because that's always good for a little playthrough. So and then we might see. It's just that with something like that, I can follow the chat a little bit better. Uh, I love my shmups, but they, they do need your concentration, don't they? Oh. Like so. Yeah, I keep on forgetting about button two, don't I, Tim? <laughs> I had seven of them as well. I'm just doing it the hard way. I can continue. So let's continue for one go. Let's, let's do this. Let's see if we can get some power ups by doing a screen clear there. Ah, that's better. That's something. Just clear the screen of these guys. Yeah, I like this weapon because you can obviously it, it picks up the momentum as you're as you're moving about. So, oh, what amount of smart bombs now? So. Ooh, got a bonus there somehow. Don't know what that was. Maybe it was an extra life. Ooh. A little bit more powered up now. That's better. Yeah, this is not a game to... Oh, man. Yeah, this is not a game to play when you've had a few too many ciders. Literally dead. <laughs> Poured that an hour ago now, I reckon, and I've barely touched it, so. Oh well. But it's probably just as well, really, because otherwise my gameplay at this would be really rotten, so. And it's not much fun just watching me just play terribly, is it? Let's be honest. It's a good laugh, but. <laughs> oh no, New Zealand story. We've just done Rainbow Islands, Dave, so at least you won't be humming that all week. I like this weapon. I uh, must be a, an extra life or something like that that I pick up. Oh man, it's got me. So yes, uh, I'm not really sure how small the PC engine mini is going to be because uh, you think, well, how much smaller can it get? Is the thing. There you go. It can't really get any smaller than it already is, really, can it? So, but it sounds like it's going to have a good lineup because obviously it's going to have like Rondo of Blood on there and so forth. So, I suppose obviously it helps that Konami seem to have the license or the, the rights to the PC engine these days. Ooh. Let's get rid of the stealth bomber. Shield, that's nice. Oh, now that's that's a neat weapon, isn't it? Oh, 
glad I picked up that shield because I would be dead by now. Oh, this is a good game. So good. <laughs> another extra life or something like that isn't it so could do some more of those smart bombs though I think so Sorry, I'm not paying any attention to the chat, guys. Nothing personal. Just uh, gotten a little bit absorbed into the game here, so. But that's that's all good, isn't it? So that's what it's all about. Oh no, I'm down to my wimpy weapon. Need good weapons. Ooh, come on, let's go. Ah oh, man, that homie missile got me. <laughs> Keychain PC engine, definitely. This is it, isn't it? It would be like a keychain, wouldn't it? So. Ah, come here. Get the last green one. Oh. Ah, just missed it. Ah! <laughs> Went everywhere except where that little parrot was. Homie missile, okay, that's pretty useful. Ah, man. <laughs> Shoehorn the stealth bomber into a space schmuck. Yeah, absolutely right. I suppose why not, you know. It's quite an iconic thing, I guess, wasn't it? So, I guess they just thought what this space shooter really needs is a stealth fighter. I mean, the logic there is incredible, so. <laughs> More homing missiles, it's all good, hopefully. Ooh. Okay, I don't know this. Let's just clear the screen, see how far we can get. That would be pretty good if we managed to get stage 3, but I somewhat doubt it, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Spoke too soon. <laughs> ah, awesome. Well, that's blazing lasers. Isn't that good? That came out in 1989 for Graphic 16. I have a feeling it might have come out the year before in Japan. Game over. Yep, game over. So what else? So let's see if we can find New Zealand story. So what are we doing for time here? Oh, okay. We've only been going for about 45 minutes. It's pretty good, isn't that so? Let's have a look. In JP folder, because it's more likely to be in there it is. <laughs> Toilet kids. That sounds hilarious, So. Gamola Speed is a good Hugh Car game. Okay, I'm going to look at that one. So, Schmuck Bloody Predicted. Yeah, you know it, Jimmy. So, Tiki goes on a holiday to help Fifi. Oh, nice. Okay, well, I've missed that. Ooh. Yeah, this. Well, it feels. Uh, don't get me wrong, I, I, I enjoy it on the Amiga, but uh, this feels like. Well, the, the reason why the Amiga version suffers is because, as we all know, it's a. 
it's an Atari ST port, isn't it? So it's not at all optimised for the system, but obviously this is uh, nice and smooth. So, also this is another game that you can get on the Taito Classic. So that's why I recommend picking up that disc for your PS2 if you happen to have a PS2 lying around. Tune's not as good as it is on the Amiga, I don't think. It's a little, little, little bit metallic, but that's still good. Still perfectly enjoyable, so. So there's no reason the Amiga wouldn't have had a version as good as this if they weren't blooming doing ST ports, so. Maybe my memory's faulty, but this just looks like a slightly different layout to... Ooh, speed up. Nice. Yeah, if they weren't doing ST ports, we could have had uh, versions as nice as this. Ah! I'm not sure I like that arrow sound. That's a bit annoying. Yeah. I couldn't move there for some reason. Can't go up for some reason. Maybe you have to push the other button to use them on here. I suppose it's not up, is it? Oh dear. Ah, there we go. That's the problem when you get used to one button controls, folks, isn't it? Didn't want to get the bomb. I had quite a good weapon there a minute ago. A little bit of slowdown here and there, isn't there? But oh man, didn't see you there. <laughs> that helped me must looks like I've been drawn in blood. But yeah, that's that's pretty true out of 42, isn't it? It did look a bit a little bit um worrisome, didn't it? So let's just let's just save. There we go. Yeah, I always found the trick with this one is just keep this oh say it, the trick with this one is to keep jumping, but didn't seem to manage to jump that other platform there. Ah! Game over! <laughs> Strawberry jam, indeed it is! <laughs> A family game! Ah! Oh! Go. TP. Ah! That was badly timed, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, I, like, I do like this version of the New Zealand story. It's really good, isn't it? Up you go, up you go, that's it. Is this the, uh, the end of boss stage on this one? Is this where the whale is? Don't even think about it, Mr. Inflatable Man. No, but... Two can play at that game. Up we go. I do like floating about on a rubber duck, it has to be said. Who wouldn't? It does feel like I should be going for. I oh know, there's another stage to go before we get to the whale, isn't there? Yay! Kiwi fruit jam. Like it. I like it. through the water is a lot quicker in this version isn't it? There's no hold ups here at all is there? Come on, come on Tiki, you can do it Gam. <laughs> axes they always get me so hey Shalan good to see you again hope you're well so yeah New Zealand story on the PC engine 
Right, let's go. Uh, up, 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 up. Come on. Ah! Oh. Yes, New Zealand story, it's so good. So, yeah, on the PC Engine. Mine, new to me PC Engine, which I picked up yesterday thanks to the awesome help of uh, the Futures 8 bit in the chat. And, uh,. Yeah, hello. Stop waving to me like you're sweet. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I've been pretty excited about this moment, so... So I thought, what better way to celebrate it than play all the games that are just so good on it, really? So, it's quite simple, really. Come on, let me go. There you go. Don't like the bomb weapon much. It's only useful when you've got to go down a few platforms, isn't it? Otherwise, it's a bit of a nuisance. It's also quite useful, actually, on some of the floating enemies, I suppose. Up you go, up you go, there you go, Tiki. That's it. Ah! Indeed, it was arcade uh, Dave, wasn't it? I've got I've got the Taito Arcade Classics, uh, which has got the arcade version. It's really good in that. So, highly recommend that version to anybody, really. Oh, bomb is great on auto fire. <laughs> I'm I'll take your word for it, Doug. Um, there, Dave, Doug. <laughs> Oh, bum. There you go, Taito. Oh, it's got the newer Taito logo on there, so. Being attacked by a mob of arrow wielding enemies. How about a nice bowl of fruit or something to help you along? Well, indeed, yeah, that's what everybody wants, isn't it? Well, I think we all know New Zealand stories, so I'm going to uh, play something else now. Just purely because, obviously, I want to sort of showcase a variety of games, shall we say. So, um, so what should we play now? I'm quite intrigued. Um, Gamoda Speed, as you can say, another schmuck. Let's just, uh, I was playing a bit of this yesterday, actually. So, let's, let's go into here. I think it was in here. I might be wrong. There we go, New Adventure Island, so... So yes, we was having a good laugh at this one yesterday, so. So yes, we will be playing some more New Zealand Story, I'm sure, at some point. But I just want to keep everything a little bit fluid tonight. Just showcase a few of the games on the system, really. So, I mean, obviously I'm going to have to uh, learn more about what's what. I suppose there's a few games that I know about that I've been waiting forever to play, but... Yeah. I mean, New Avenger Island is obviously not a, a particularly unique game for the... PC engine, but uh, the mechanics are exactly the same as what they are on other systems. You've got to collect the fruit to keep your timer up and all the, whoop, the timer up and all the rest of it. Uh, but otherwise, just collecting uh, weapons like boomerangs and axes and arrows and uh, get to the other end. Really, it's not really much more complicated than that, is it? It was funny yesterday because I was saying, oh, this is quite easy, this game to do, and then basically I then died. Ooh! He's got a fairy now. <laughs> or a guardian angel, something along those lines. Probably should be using the run mechanic, really. Because my energy is getting quite low. Ow! Oh. Yes, our type indeed. We'll be playing some our type in a minute, actually, Dave. So, yeah, New Zealand story does have the happiest you failed music. So, yeah, you've got to get your five a day. So this is like the anti McDonald's kid, uh, McDonald's kids. Um, you know, I'm sure some of you remember that game. Uh, gamers, and it's all about the fruit. Oh man, not again!
literally yes i cleared this, this stage without any troubles at all <laughs> no lives lost i mean it's pretty embarrassing to die on the first stage isn't it <laughs> so not that bad a games player <laughs> Yeah, I definitely do need uh, my guardian angel, I think, for this. Here we go. Ow! Yes. Oh, game over. Okay, that was rubbish. <laughs> I was so bad at that, so... We haven't played Parasol Stars yet, Shannon. I need to uh, obtain it, shall we say? Um, but yes. I remember playing that uh, when I saw Tim back in April, and what a stunning version of Parasol Stars it is on the PC Engine. Uh, I love it on the Amiga, but it just takes it to another level on the PC Engine. A bit like Rainbow Islands, which we have played. Um, that was the first game we played at the start of the stream, so there is just going to be so much that we're going to play on this system over the years. So anything that we blast through really quickly tonight, don't worry. We'll be seeing a lot more of it in the years to come, so there's no doubt about that, so. So I wouldn't worry about uh, whether we're going to cover the games fully and exhaustively today, so, because there's going to be loads of time to, uh... oh man, that was close. Oh, damn, damn frog. You have Zool, which is like the kids' birthday party of eating games. Yeah, well, my thoughts on Zool are fairly well known. So, let's put it this way: I'm not, I've not played it since I did it on the stream. So, I know obviously there's nothing wrong with it if you enjoy it. It's just not my kind of game, to be honest with you. Well, I like platform games, don't get me wrong, but it's just something about Zool that I don't enjoy. Sadly, <laughs> I wish I did. be a lot more fun if I didn't. Oh, man. The cider counts as one a day. Well, I'm not even managing one a day at the moment, Save Tooth Barnacle, because like I say, I cracked that cider open over an hour ago, and I've basically drunk about a quarter of it. Which is a bit rubbish, isn't it? So... So I'm not even getting my one a day through that in a minute, so... Although I did have some salad for uh, lunch and dinner, actually. Well, I did a homemade potato salad with some fish and whatnot. Oh, I don't think I've got that power up before. That's cool. Oh, that damn frog. Oh, Parasol Stars is on the Hue card. Sorry, I thought that was a CD-ROM game, Tim. Or maybe we can play some Parasol Stars after this then, so... I can't believe I'm finding this stage so difficult. I literally just blasted through this one yesterday. One, one go and that was it. I'm obviously just not very good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So yes, I think Parasol Stars has to be played next, doesn't it, really? I just can't believe how unhappy he looks, though. When he's running, he just looks really, really hacked off. Okay, two can play at that game. It was trying too hard to be Sonic for the Amiga, Jimmy. You're absolutely right. So This one is so easy. I was. Uh, yeah, exactly. I did say that yesterday, Tim. And now I wish I never even opened my trap. It's so easy that a kid could play this. I'm obviously just a stupid kid. <laughs> so, Or not a very talented kid, rather. Nothing wrong with being a stupid kid. So... <laughs> Yeah, my exact words were, oh, this is an easy game, Tim. And here I am just basically getting nailed by that frog. It's doing my head in now. <laughs> well, it's not doing my head in. <laughs> Do 
Yeah, but that was my problem with Zola. Just and the gameplay mechanics in it. I just, oh, just all those trying to grab onto the the size of things and all that picking up the um, the various um, sort of sweets that you had to collect a certain amount to clear the stage. And I just found it was just too difficult to control. But and as you say, just trying too hard to be Sonic for the Amiga, which. You know, the first three Sonic games were cool, but... I've got you this time. But yeah, yesterday I, I literally said, this game is so damn easy. <laughs> uh. You're working on the C64 version in the future. Ooh, that sounds exciting. That'd be awesome to finally get Parasol Stars to the C64. That is so cool. It's pretty legendary what happened to the original version, isn't it? That is so cool, Shannon. Awesome. Why are you damn? <laughs> right, okay. I can do this. I thought I'll just play this and have a blast through this and get through a couple of stages and move on but now I'm just like right now, now you're for it so I mean obviously it doesn't help that I'm trying to run I suppose but whatever <laughs> yeah because Tim was watching the Grand Prix when I was playing this and sort of came upstairs at one point just to see how I was getting on and all the rest of it and uh Lo and behold, I said, yeah, this game's really easy. And, uh, and I was doing fine. Got to the second sort of world or stage or whatever. After a little bit of problems with Tony the Tiger, but we got there. And, um, and here we are today being absolutely massacred by it, so... <sighs> mm. I haven't done uh, Super Frog actually. I, I must admit that was another one I wasn't overly. Oh. I think I'm just trying to rush through this, aren't I? That's probably where I'm going wrong. Let's just play at normal speed, at a pace that somebody like me can handle. Two can play at that game. Hmm. Unless it's the Guinness Bird. 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 <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, going a bit better now, isn't it? Just a little. I'm really scared of this spring now. <laughs> Yay! Oh, I'm going to have to check out your video then, Shannon. It sounds awesome, so... Yeah, the PC is such a lovely little console, isn't it? I'm really loving this. I mean, really loving it. Let's get the arrow for what it's worth. Goodbye, spiders. That look almost like strawberries. That look like the apples that you get in, um, oh, Castle of Illusion, isn't it, on the Mega Drive? Another fantastic game. One that I've not played for too long now. Oh, I do prefer the boomerang, actually. Oh, oh, you didn't know you could shoot the rocks. Didn't do that yesterday. Oh, bats!
under NDA. Ooh, talks are in progress. Well, not that I'm saying anything, but you know, the future was 8 bit, some say. <laughs> But that is so cool that we're going to finally see Parasol Stars for the C64 because uh, uh, Tim, uh, that's Futurist 8 bit in the chat, just in case you <laughs> keep on referring to people by their first names. Of course, everybody's got handles here, haven't they? Um, he fixed up my Condor 64 with the most difficult repair that anybody has ever undertaken in the history of mankind. And, um, um, you know, there was, there was a bit of jam sandwich and uh, a slightly. Oh! misaligned LED cable and um, yeah and uh, basically um, yeah I do live stream for my uh, C64 every now and then so hope to do another game stream later on this week um, I was going to do pixel art tonight but I've just been working so hard on the photos today I needed to do something to let my hair down and I've been chomping at the bit to play the PC engine all day long because I literally Got home last night. I was obviously too tired to play games last night after a six hours worth of driving last night. Um, last night, yesterday in total. So I was pretty zonked. Um, and uh, so basically, I thought, no, I'm going to play some games. Tonight. Let's do some PC Engine, obviously. And, um, and that's why we're here tonight playing this. There you go, bats. And, um, yeah, so almost certainly going to be doing some more of the Golden Kamoi pixel art tomorrow evening, as I've got my work out of the way now, haven't I? Yeah, I didn't think you could shoot the fires. That wouldn't make any sense. <gasps> no! Oh! <laughs> I thought I may have found a secret, but no. <laughs> you was rocking your Ultimate 64 at Revival. That is so cool. Talking of revival, if you... Oh, man. That was a bit foolish, wasn't it? If you... Oh! <laughs> that was looking like a good move for a, a second. Um, talking of revival, Pixels at Dawn has put out some great videos um, recording some of the uh, talks at revival. Go and check out the Amigos Gaming podcast, um, where I think the videos are hosted. Oh, man! Okay, well, I've one more go on this. Famous last words. And I think we're going to bring up some Parasol Stars because I absolutely love that game. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but for me, I love it. So, and on a PC engine, it's so sweet. Because it appears my new Adventure Island skills have gone down the toilet since yesterday. So, not that they were particularly great shakes yesterday at points. So, But there again, I have been processing, like I said, I think it was just, just over 820 photos, I think it was today, so, which was no small undertaking, to say the least, so my eyes are a bit, ugh. That's the only thing that really sucks about modern digital photography, isn't it? It's all the processing that you often have to do to get your pictures actually looking like they've got nice colour balance and consistent and sorting all that stuff out. I know some cameras are better than, oh, better than others, but... Yeah, I don't know if anybody recorded the David Pleasance one. I I don't know whether he had anything new to say or not, because, well, obviously it's... Ugh, it's fair enough, there's only so many stories, isn't there? But I've heard quite a few of the David Pleasance talks over the last few years. It's amazing, isn't it? Somebody who completely disappeared after about 1995, and we all wondered what happened to him. And um, and now we hear a lot from him, which is great. But uh, obviously, I wonder if he's got any news stories, you know. But I suppose it doesn't give too much away, because obviously there's some stuff that's in the book. Um, so he wants to be able to market that still without giving it all away, I guess. But um, I think I understand why those spiders might be drawn a little bit like strawberries now. I think it's obviously to blend into the background, isn't it? But yeah, I really enjoy. I've only actually um, listened to the Sensible Software one with uh, John Hare and um, Stu K. 
Cambridge. Damn. <laughs> and, um... So basically, yeah. Right. Not usually this rubbish. But today I am. Or this evening room, rather. I don't know whether I want the boomerang or not down here. I should probably stick to the arrow to choose name. Yeah, so the spiders are drawn a bit like the strawberries just to blend in with the background a little, aren't they? Ooh. Chris said he might have the audio set. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah. I'm sure it was very interesting regardless. So, you know, when I sort of say, oh, I've sort of heard, oh, gosh. <sighs> well, there you go. Right. So that's New Adventure Island played really badly. Played that much better yesterday. <laughs> right, so Parasol Stars. Might be in good games. Might not be in good games. Oh, Raiden. Oh, wow. Cool. Love Raiden. <laughs> Is it in here? Oh, hang on. I'm in the wrong folder, aren't I? Oh, damn. Paranoia. Oh, Paranoia. I've heard of that. I'm trying to remember what that is. There it is. Look at that. Parasol Stars. The second development section talk team, was that? <laughs> okay. Right. So, yeah, I mean, I love the Amiga version as well. As, uh, I think they're probably very similar in terms of overall quality, but... Um, but there's just something about this PC Engine version that really works for me. Yay! But the colourfulness of this game is what I love. Yay! Play Lemmings, yes. I should really, shouldn't I? There you go. Ah, oh, man! It's funny, you can go kind of blind to some of the enemies in this game. Well, at least I can anyway, but I think that says more about me than the game itself, doesn't it? There we go. That's gotcha. The only game you got for your newly acquired CDTV? Wow, you got a CDTV as well, Dave. Awesome. Well, you joined the club with Tim there, so I saw some footage of. It might have been on your Twitter, actually, Dave. Uh, or the swag Twitter, I forget now. Um, but uh, of the uh, CDTV player in the Black Lotus. And um, I forget the name of what the demo was called this year now, but the one that's just out of this world, so... Ooh. Want to get down there, really. Don't even think about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> More random items in a Discord chat. Yeah, that's probably saying something, actually, Error 42, so... So the only game I'm good at is Chrono Trigger. Cheeky Dave, cheeky. <laughs> it is true though. 
when you've played JRPGs for so many years, it does. Oh, hang on a minute, let's get the charm. I want to get the crown. Ooh. This music is great, you know, it's got so many mini games as well. It so has, hasn't it? So. I think that's what makes it so so addictive as well, it's just that music, isn't it? It's just... Oh. I mean, obviously, you know my tastes in things. I like cute stuff, so this is right up my street, really. I'm trying to get one of those drops to drop down. Oh man, into there and then clear the path. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, sorry, Bubby. <laughs> I think Dave might actually have a point. <laughs> Eon. Oh yeah, Eon. Yeah, Black Lotus. Eon, that was the one, so... Oh, I'm not going to put my name to that. Apparently I'm first, though, so... Yeah, what you want to do is get one of the rain bubbles, and I think if you... That'll do me. Yeah, I need to build up, don't I? Yeah. Oh, bugger. I'm sorry, reading the chat. <sighs> oh, I kind of got a bit mullered there, didn't I say? So. Right. Not going to give up that easily. First level. <laughs> Usually better than that, aren't I? There you go, Bubby. Collect four drops. That's the one, isn't it? Yeah. I couldn't remember how many it was. I thought it was one for a minute there, obviously. Ah, yeah, come here. <laughs> I shouldn't really be collecting too many here. I'll just get absolutely slaughtered, won't I? There we go, that'll do nicely. There we are. Woohoo! Hey, that's a bit better, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm gonna build up my water drops and we'll be alright. Otherwise, if you don't build up the water drops at the stage, it's quite a tricky one to say the least, so... I'll do nicely. Kits. 
There we go. <laughs> That's what I was looking to do. Ah, thanks for the tip there, Shannon. I couldn't remember how many it drops it was. I was being a bit thick there, you could say. So, oh, like there. <laughs> oh, damn accordions. There you go, eat your carrots, you'll be able to see in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I could whack him with the umbrella, but obviously you can't, so... <laughs> What's happened to my potion then? I thought that was what I needed. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Why am I not shooting at anyone? What am I doing wrong here then? There you go. Okay, just hold down the button. That's all you gotta do. Cool. Just getting used to these new controls a little bit. Two buttons and all the rest of it. A little bit different. Oh, that was a bit rubbish. Go. <laughs> or not as the case may be. Mm. I might not get any more 
electricity bolts. If I run out, there we go. Just need to hold down a bit longer, don't you? Yay! Let's get all of that. Woohoo! Nice one. Hey, Doug, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. How's your boy doing? Is he uh, comfortable after his little trampoline accident? Okay, the cars can jump, or the carrot cars, or whatever they are. Oh, whoops. And the little happy lion doesn't like me very much either, which is a shame. I felt we had a connection. <laughs> oh. There we go. Let's get those dudes upset. Oh man! You need to get this tree stump, don't you? Oh. Second that time. Yeah, of course I want to continue. Why wouldn't you? Ah! Oh, that was just never going to end well, was it? Right, that's got rid of you. And you're still recovering there, probably another two before you can really get them walking, yeah. Oh, look at those cute little ponies. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> well, I suppose they're not, they're unicorns really, aren't they? They've got little, little unicorn spikes, or tusks, or whatever they are, so. Horns. <laughs> tusks. <laughs> oh. Cool. Right, how are we doing for time, folks? Let's have a little look. Oh, it's half ten, so I think we'll play one more game and we'll go for smart type, so as I've got that on hue card here, so let's go for that. Like I say, literally the coolest of the cartridge formats. I will warn you, I'm not very good at this. Unlike all the other games that I played tonight. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm better than that though. I don't usually die at that stage. So yeah, this is, I managed to actually, I don't know if you're still in the chat there, Tim, but basically I managed to pick up the box and manual for this today, so, which was pretty cool. So, at least I'll have, oh man, didn't realise you can, well, I've forgotten that you can die by hitting those, so. Why is it called a hue card? Good question, Era 42, I don't know, actually. I shall have to look into why that is, so. I should imagine that Hue stands for something probably in Japanese, I guess. So, game over already. Woohoo! Um, yeah, our type is awesome, isn't it? Except I'm playing really badly. So, what I'm going to do, folks, I'm going to try and concentrate on this rather than looking at the phone. But I w won't try and ignore you completely, because otherwise that would be a bit boring. But... Because that's the only thing with schmutz, if you're not paying attention it's it could be game over before you know it like it was there
Ah, oh, man. Mm -hmm. But yeah, our type on a PC Engine, from what I've experienced with it so far, is just brilliant. It really is. It's probably about the most faithful version that you're going to get from the arcade, as it were, I guess. Including the difficulty. <laughs> Mutual destruction, say. So. Ah, I could do with a little bit that goes on the front there, so. Hue card, yeah, that's it. So, yeah, the Hue card is the ROM cartridge, basically, for the PC engine, so... Like a little credit card, so... I've got a chance to continue from the beginning, isn't that cool? I don't know what I'd do without that continue there. Presumably start from the beginning like all the other games did so far. <laughs> ah, man. Oh, it's getting warm in here. I don't have any uh, auto fire also on my uh, oh, PC engine controller. It's one of the earlier ones, so so this is just literally a button mashing exercise, isn't it? At least the controller is really nice and responsive despite its age, so. Ooh. Oh, that was close. I don't know why I've got that on the back of me now. Ugh, lost my headphones. <laughs> Try and get past the first part, so. Right, there we go, got past that first bit, so there is hope. Ah, oh, man. New art looks so impressive. I haven't seen that actually, Shalan, so I will take your word for it, so. What systems will that be available for? I assume it's sort of like the usual sort of PS4, Switch, Xbox, I guess, is it? Ah, man. Need to get a bit further forward, sir. Ready as I'll ever be. Ah, man, a bit too frisky there. Yeah, Tim was saying yesterday that the Spectrum version is very good. I've never played it. I think the only version of R-Type that I ever really played was um, on the C64. But other than that, no, I have I didn't even play R-Type on the Amiga. Um, 
I think I might have played R-Type 3 on uh, the Super Nintendo, but that was about it, really, so... Eek! 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 That was a bit of luck, wasn't it? I've got the um, PC Engine cable slightly underneath my thumb here. I'm a little bit hampered there. Let's sort that out. <laughs> Oh, cool, Shellan. That's useful information. Thank you. I'm going to check that out. So. Wow, 723,000, two times that is insane, yeah. At least I've been able to continue from this point uh, so far, just shouldn't have gone in here because I always die when this happens, you need to get them from the outside. Yeah, that is a pretty insane amount, isn't it? So, so I hope you've enjoyed tonight's streams, guys. Uh, I'm sorry the gameplay has been a little bit ropey at times. Uh, I think I'm probably just a bit tired, and also some of the games I just just need to put a bit more practice in, really. Particularly like, for example, our type here. Uh, but not usually that rough and ready, am I? I know I'm not the best games player in the world, but generally not awful off. But uh, <laughs> I think Blazing Lasers was my uh, finest hour, wasn't it? So, and even then, it was into stage two. You've only really played uh, our type of maybe so like the arcade original, yeah. Yeah, I've never never played the arcade original. going so well there for a minute. Come back here. I've got the cable underneath my thumb again somehow. Why do I keep on doing that? Yes, I got all my photos processed, Doug, yep. That was the only way that I was going to be able to do the stream today was to get that all done first because otherwise it would have just eaten into sort of the next week and uh, I didn't want that. So all done, which is great. So it means that I can truly relax. Oh. This week before I got to the Lake District, so... 
So I think I'm just going to have one more go guys on this and uh, I think I'm going to call the stream there as it is a school night as I say here so got the uh, the day job to attend to tomorrow so I need to be fresh for that so but I just wanted to share a little bit of the PC engine tonight anyway nonetheless so it was never meant to be a full on evening of gaming oh my gosh No worries, no worries at all, Shallon. As I say, I'm going to be wrapping this up very shortly by the looks of it. Um, pleasure to have you here again, and I'm definitely going to check out your work on Parasol Stars for the C64. That sounds absolutely epic, it really does. Oh man, okay, maybe one will continue. First time seeing R type in the PC engine. Oh, it is so good. It is so good, but but lovely to see you. I hope you're well. One more go, eh? One more go. You know, error 42. That's the thing. It's this is what I get like with shmups. I just get my teeth into them and I die lots, and then, but I still enjoy them. I mean, R type is hard. I just need to put the the hours into practice, really, just like any shmup. Learn the patterns, where the safe spot is. Get my moves in order. And then we'll be all good. Oh man. I have to say, there's one thing that's definitely true about the PC Engine controller. It's really comfortable. Oh, I've done it again. Shouldn't be in here. All right, I will just sneak in the last continue. <laughs> oh no, that was it. Okay, I'm going to call the stream there, guys. Actually, um, just purely because time is getting on. But I hope you've really enjoyed it. Let's just flip back to full screen. It's very good of you all to drop in this evening. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, uh, it's always nice if uh, you feel able to uh, drop me a little uh, like on the, the stream. It's always good to see uh, whether people have enjoyed it. So, and um, yeah, so. Yeah, I have completed the first level on our type pixels, but just not in the last couple of days. I need to uh, put some practice in really, so. I'm sure I'll get there in the end, but uh, not tonight, so it's uh, just a little bit beyond me, so uh, having only just started yesterday, so so yes, um, just delighted to have the PC engine at last, and uh, yeah, so all good. I still have three credits, you're right, Pixels, I really do, so yeah, our type on the uh, PC engine is just the best version, but, but it truly is, so so I hope you've enjoyed it guys, uh, I will be streaming tomorrow evening in the Pixlark, going to do some more of the Golden Kamui Pixlark, not sure exactly what time but probably around about 8 o'clock so um, maybe see some of you uh, then when the Amiga 500 will be back out and in use so it's just sat over there at the minute so um, yeah so I hope you have a good day all of you tomorrow and uh, enjoy the rest of your evening everybody and thanks for joining us Bartbit. Uh, 10 minute Amiga retro cars, Doug lovely to see you, Bart bit, great to see you, Pixels at Dawn, Error 42 and uh, anybody else still watching, it's been a pleasure to have you here um, and I guess that all remains for me to say is have a great rest of your evening folks, peace. <laughs>